Here's how to install Pace Academy Web Portal on your Android device. Using Google Chrome, go to portal.paceacademy.edu.ph. Look for the install prompt, which typically appears as a banner or a pop-up at the top of the screen, indicating that the website can be installed. Tap on Install. You may be prompted to confirm the installation. Confirm by tapping on Install. Once added to your home screen, you can launch the Pace Academy web portal by tapping on its icon, just like any other app. Here's how to install Pace Academy web portal on your iOS device. Launch Safari browser on your iOS device. Go to portal.paceacademy.edu.ph. Tap on the share button located at the bottom center of the Safari browser window. It looks like a square with an arrow pointing upwards. In the share menu, scroll down and look for an option named Add to Home Screen. Tap on it. You may be prompted to confirm the installation. Confirm by tapping on Add. Once added to your home screen, you can launch the Pace Academy web portal by tapping on its icon, just like any other app. Here's how you could access Pace Academy web portal. First, you'll need a web browser. Common browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, and Microsoft Edge. At the top of the browser window, you'll see an address bar. This is where you type the website's address. Type in portal.paceacademy.edu.ph, then press Enter on your keyboard. Once you see Pace Academy logo, click the blue button that says Sign in using Google. Sign in using your Pace Academy parent's email, then click Next. Type in your password, then click Next. If this message shows, just scroll down and click I understand. This message will show when it is your first time logging in. Click Continue to continue your login process. Click the Add Child button. Type in your child's student number. This can be found on your child's student ID. Type in your child's birthday. After that, you may click Add Child button. This will generate an OTP that you will receive on the email that you provided when enrolling your child. This is a security measure to make sure that your child's information is secure. After entering the OTP, click the Add Child button once again to complete the process. To secure your child's reservation, please click the Reserve button. The required payment amount will be displayed. For payment, kindly initiate a bank transfer to the preferred account, ensuring to capture a screenshot of the transaction receipt. Alternatively, if opting for a cash deposit at the bank, please take a photograph of the completed deposit slip. Once you have either took a screenshot of the bank transfer confirmation or a photo of the completed transaction of the deposit slip, you're ready to upload your proof of payment. Click the Browse button to select and upload the file. Ensure the transaction details are clear and legible for verification. After uploading the payment proof, proceed by clicking the Reserve button to finalize your child's reservation process. You will be notified via email or receive an in-app notification once we have successfully verified your payment. After the reservation of your child has been verified, you may now register your child. First, you need to click the Register button. You will be presented a window that will let you choose for payment terms. You may choose between one payment, two payments, four payments, or ten payments. After choosing a payment term, a breakdown of the payment that you will need to pay will show. The one that you need to pay will be shown here at the Total Amount to Pay section just like the reservation process. Kindly initiate a bank transfer to the preferred account, ensuring to capture a screenshot of the transaction receipt. Alternatively, if opting for a cash deposit at the bank, please take a photograph of the completed deposit slip. Once you have either took a screenshot of the bank transfer confirmation or a photo of the completed transaction of the deposit slip, you're ready to upload your proof of payment. Click the Browse button to select and upload the file. Ensure the transaction details are clear and legible for verification. 
After uploading the payment proof, proceed by clicking the Register button to finalize your child's registration process. On Manage Children page, click the View Profile button on the child that you want to manage its fetcher. Then on the left side menu, click on Fetcher. This will take you to the page where you can manage the fetcher of your child. In here, you just simply put the fetcher's name, the relationship of this fetcher to the student, and if your child has a multiple set of fetchers, you may put them in groups. Take note that the groupings here will also be the one that will be printed as a physical fetcher ID card. Once you fill that out, click the Browse button to select for the picture of this fetcher. Then click the Submit button to complete the process.